Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Almighty Zen Taco, and today we're going to be learning how to embed a font. Now, what is embedding a font, you're probably asking, and why would you want to do it? Well, it's really simple. Let's say we had a game or a project, and we had a string in it. And the string is sitting here like this. Okay, so the string is going to say something like, let's embed a font, yo. And uh, then we would select our font. So let's say we wanted to put something in our, our project, uh, our application. There was a really interesting font, but that most people are not going to have, such as, you know, I don't pick anything. I got a lot of cool fonts. Um, strenuous. Boom. Let's make it bigger. All right, that's a pretty cool font, you might say. Um, and yeah, it's a good font. But the problem is most people don't have strenuous, obviously. There's a million fonts, and not everyone's going to have them all. And so what will happen is your application is going to default to some basic font like Arial Black or Arial, and it's going to mess up the whole style of your project if your fonts are important to the style. So to fix this, all we have to do is embed a font. And what that does is allows our application to take a font and essentially use it as if it were installed on the user's computer. And they don't, it's a seamless, they don't need to install it or anything, they won't even know what's happening. Now there are two basic ways to do this. One is easier, uh, but is not, it's not as easy for you to package it because it's going to require you to package this font into a folder and you're going to have to distribute your, your uh, game or project with a folder base. It's going to have a file structure. But if you want to just have this be an executable, which is probably the better way, we're going to use a binary. And what binary does is it lets you actually embed files into your binary of your game. It appends it into the end and um, it gets it gets extracted. And it's a little more complicated, but all it does is for the user, it means they just have one file to deal with. There's no folder. They don't, you know, they can't accidentally delete the font or whatever. They can't mess it up. It's part of your executable. So I will show you both methods. So the first method, uh, both these methods are going to use the same object. So the first method is going to be the folder method. So I have already set up a folder called game. And I stuck a font in it called gomerus underscore game underscore music underscore love. Complicated, I know. Uh, and it's a true type font file, so that's a .ttf. Now you have to keep in mind that the name of the font is going to be different than the name of the file of the font. So this is the font I'm going to want to use. And this is not installed on my computer, so I can show you that it does in fact work. So the name of the font is Game Music Love. So I will not install this. This is not going to be something I can find uh, in my font list because I don't have it. So here we go. Right click, insert an object, and we want the embed font or font embed. Let me see. What is it called? Font embed object. Boom. Just drop it in here. Uh, as always, though, if you don't have the object, right click on the manager when you add an object, and you can find it right there. Uh, just type something like embed and you will see font embed object. It's free, just install that. Okay, so to package this using the folder method, we will do a start of a frame event, go to the embed object, select embed a font. Now it wants a path for this font, and uh, all we're gonna do is refer to the path of the application, the current folder it's in, and that's app path dollar sign. That will point to wherever your application is at, so if your application was on the desktop, that's what it would point to. So you just uh, stick it all in one folder, your font, your executable, and this will work. All right, so then we need the name of the font, and it was something obnoxious. What was that? I'm just going to copy this. It's Gomerus Game Music Love. So I, I copied that file name. I'm going to paste that. And we also need the type. It's TTF. It's a true type font. And we're going to close that off. Boom. That has now been embed. Let's make another starter frame event. And in this one, we're going to actually just use that font. So go to the string, select text, set font name. And the font name was font name was game music love. Okay, for this to work, I'm actually going to have to compile this. So I will do that now I will build it. Okay, so I'm going to compile this test. And I'm going to run it through the executable, which is packaged in the same folder, the game folder. So we'll click test. And it's let's embed a font, yo. And as we see, if we go over to this font, that is the appropriate font. So we have embed, embedded this font, or this font has embedded, embed, been embedded. Blah, blah, blah. All right, 
So now we're gonna embed a font using the binary system in Fusion. And what binary does is allows you to append files to the end of your executable so that they're packaged with the executable and it, you will only be distributing your, your exe file. So you don't have to have a folder or a file structure or any of that. You just need to embed your file. It's actually not so bad. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So you click on this icon here, this data elements icon, and then you select the binary data tab. Now this is how you add uh, files, external files, as binary to your project. So all you got to do is click add. Now the thing is, um, I recommend that you put your fonts for this or any files you want to have in binary in your C folder at the root directory just because to reference these files we're going to need to type in the entire path name and it's easier to get things wrong if you don't put it somewhere simple like C. So that's what we're going to do. So that's I already did that for the font we're using so I'm going to add it that way. So click add. I'm going to go over to C and the font I want to use is Gomerus Game Music Love. It's a true type font file. So now this has been included into the game as a binary and all we need to do is extract it and then embed it. So we do that this way. First we set up a starter frame event. So first we need to extract this file from the binary. And what that does is extracts the file into a temporary folder in Windows and then allows us to reference that. Now we have to actually use the initial um, path name that we had when we grabbed it and put it into our binary. I think it's a little weird because it's just a file on binary and this is going to be running on someone else's system so I don't know why that path name is relevant but that is what we have to do. So we're going to do start a frame and then we're going to go to the special conditions. We're going to select binary files and extract binary. That's, this will put it into the temporary folder in Windows. So what we need now is a binary path name and that's gonna be the path where it is on your computer. So for me that is, I'll make sure you put it in quotations, that's C, um, put a backslash, and that is going to be gomeris underscore game underscore music underscore love dot ttf. I need to include the file type as well. And we're gonna close it off with a quotation. So that's all we gotta do. We're actually gonna copy this whole thing because we're gonna need this again and we don't need to type, to type this twice. All right, let's do another starter frame event just so we can kind of see what's happening. Now we need to embed it. So we're gonna embed a font. Now we need to embed the font that we extracted. So to do this again, go to the special object and this is under file names. And you're looking at the bottom for binary file temporary file name, boom. And in the string here, just uh, paste what we have. And I already had quotations around that, so it's perfect. That is the file. So that's the path to the font. So finally, what we need to do is simply change the string uh, to reference this font. So let's do that now. We will do start a frame, and we're going to take this font here, this string, and we're going to change it. That's under text, set font name, and that was game music love. Now keep in mind that your font name is going to be different than your font file name most likely. Uh, so make sure you know what that is. And that's all we need to do. Now, since I, like I said earlier, this font has never been installed on my computer. Uh, it's so we can test to see if it works. I'm going to build it. And um, this is, this one's called embed underscore font. So I will run this. And there you go. It is showing us the font that has been embedded. And so if you use this method, you don't even have to have a file structure or a folder or anything. You can just give people your exe. So I do think this is a little cleaner for the end user, but as uh, you can see, it's a slight bit more complicated for you. All right, guys, that's how you embed a font. It's not that difficult. Uh, it's also the basics of how you do binary. Oh, actually, let me show you one more thing. Um, one thing you want to, you kind of want to do though is on the end of the application, you want to release your binary so it goes away and it's out of the temporary folder. That's under binary files, release a binary file. And again, just uh, type in your path name like so. And so whenever the application is finished, it is going to release that binary. All right, guys, so that is how you embed a font using those two methods I outlined. Uh, hopefully you found that pretty easy to understand. If you have any questions or comments, as always, feel free to leave them down below and I'll try to get back to you. And as always, please check out my Discord. It's the best place to learn things if you are looking for help with game design and game development. So as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Catch you guys later.